Let's do uh, so Hot Boy West, West, fifteen years. Um, I don't know if he's gonna do the full. He may get out on good behavior, but it was because of uh, violence towards children, uh, uh, children's mothers, and all of that. Like a lot of di- uh, like domestic abuse. That's what that's what they're saying. Yeah, they 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 worded it on all the 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 things that I saw on social media, violence towards, but basically like domestic abuse. But I'm not trying to put ain't no telling what went on. Mm-hmm. But it seemed like it was more than just one isolated incident. Texas is cursed, bro. Texas artists is cursed. I'm gonna tell you where. Texas artists mess up. They never sign to a major record label. They all crash dummies. They not controllable. All of our artists in Texas who almost pop, like I'm talking about street artists, like that came up in the streets, not the people like the Post Malones, the Travis Scott. You know about what I'm saying? That. The ones who came up in the streets, they is brainless damn near. They uncontrollable. They real products of their environments. They really don't have no sense. The niggas really retarded. Like, not on some no brain shit, but y'all know how they be like, oh, I'm I'm finna go retarded. Like, they really don't think. had to get a wake up call. He almost crashed out. He He almost crashed out. He fell off. You feel me? Yellow Beezy could Yellow Beezy could have kept going with the bullshit and he, he his career probably would have rise. You gotta know when to when to bro, how your name King 214 and you saying Texas artist trash? Come on, bro. We got a lot of good artists, man. Sauce Walker, he well he see he crashed out. Literally. He ain't crashed out, but he, he just cr- literally he did he got in that high well high speed chase. I know he probably know getting crashed or something, didn't he? He, he just ain't hit that next level in his music career. They never do. All the artists who come from the streets, they never go to the next level. They crash out or they just become like a Texas, like they just become like a a Texas legend. You feel what I'm saying? They never become like that worldwide sensation. Mo3 was there. What's finna be there? Crashed out. Yo. Go yeah, yo. Uncontrollable. Didn't sign. Then take the deal with QC. Prison. Everybody. He's not finna do nothing when he get out of jail. His career is vamos. It's over. He did, missed his way. Did he get picked back up when he left? Some yes. type of probably stipulation. It probably something that he didn't do. It might have been just some court mess up and they brought him back. Man, in. he literally missed his wave. It's over, bro. He he can get a few interviews. That's about it. But other than that, bro, it's OV for the guy, bro. He not coming out and, like, popping off, blowing up. None of that. It's over for Go Yayo. It's over, bro. Man, you missed your wave. The whole Fort Worth done ran off with your sound. Bro, it's done. You dropped the album last month. Nobody even knew. You knew he dropped the album last month? Nope. Come on, bro. Yeah, it ain't good It's yeah. too late, man. He missed his wave, bro. You just gonna be a Fort Worth legend now, not even a Texas legend, my boy. And that's tough. Because you didn't take that deal with QC, my guy. You needed to be controlled. You need to. You needed to be controllable, bro. So the so the artists that pop off, for example, D Baby. He said somebody offered him six million, right? Uh, yeah. I heard him say somebody offered him six million, bro. Take the deal, bro. Take the money. It's gonna take you to the next level. Now you just gonna be stuck in Houston legacy. That's all. You finna be stuck in there. You're not going mainstream thinking you just because the, the industry not going to let it happen. They not letting no independent artists come and plateau to a uh, to. Let's see. What's the artist who. Like over the hump, but ain't up there, though, but they over the hump, though. I'm trying to think. Mm. To my Texas artist. Watsy be fat. OK, you just want be fat is a good is a good example. You feel what I'm saying? He over the hump. He kind of mainstream. 
it can't happen with you, D-Baby, because you didn't take the deal. Or who else? Uh, Mexican OT. Mexican OT. If they offer you a deal, take the major record deal, bro. That's what's wrong with Texas art. Like, yo, Texas artists is so stubborn. And it's a gift and a curse at the same time. Because then they get, they get Quinn and FN. Mm -hmm. They get boxed in. Yo, take these major record deals. Y'all heard what Young Thug said, that meme he got. Yo, I knew I, I, I signed a worst deal of all time, but I knew I just needed the platform. I just knew I needed to get in the door. Once I got in the door, yo, you got to take that effing. You got the label my F you over. You got to take that. And then that's why you pump out three, four records real quick. Look, look at what Young Boy. Young Boy did the same thing, and he gave them four, four albums in like a year and said, Deuces type it, stuff, you know? It's because in Texas, being Pete is so heavy. Being player is so heavy in Texas. We 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 don't like the fact of feeling like we being played on or we being we being prostituted or people we just like we just boss mentality all the time. But you gotta be a worker first before you can be a boss though. So y'all gotta take that effing. Y'all got to. Y'all gotta go sign that major record label just for just real sign that real quick. Get to that next level. Get you a record. Get you a record contract for your own label. After that, that's gonna get you them tens of m's. What you want? You want ten million or you want you want ten percent of a billion? Which one you want? I know. You gotta. You gotta. Come on, man. You gotta. You gotta take that effing when you're trying to get over that hump. And Texas artists don't want to do that. Mo three did not want to do that. CMG tried to sign Mo three. He said, nah. All the record labels wanted to sign Mo3. He should have been, bro, if he would have signed a record label, if he would have signed a record deal, he would have been out of Dallas. He would have been across that hump. He would have been up there. They got to take that Post Malone route. They would have gave him did. them marketing dollars. Boy, Mo3 would have been out of here dropping all them melodies. Boy, Mo3 would have been gone, bro. But he ain't want to sign a record deal, though. He didn't like the politics with the industry. He didn't like the fake part of the industry. He didn't want to, he didn't want to have to, he didn't want to have to, yo, the label calling him all day. Yo, you got to be here, 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 here. He didn't want that. He wanted to do it himself. He wanted to be the, the only boss. He wanted to be the last person to get paid. The first person to get paid and have to pay everybody. See, so you just got to take that, man. That's the all Texas artist, man. When y'all get that deal come across your table, take that deal. If you don't take the deal, it's because you don't think you really not that guy. You think you are. You should be able to know, like, nah, if I take this deal, I know what I'm going to do with this shit. I know what I'm doing. Uh -huh. That's how that go. So it's like, yeah, Mexican OT, D-Baby. Um, uh... I think those are the only two for real that's really like moving shit. Mexican OT and D baby who get in them major record deals like yeah. three, four million deals. You feel what I'm saying? Yo, take that damn deal. Take Hell it. Y'all yeah. gonna skyrocket. I'm telling y'all, take the deal, man. For sure. What's up, man? It's Chris J. Jacking up here at Pop Off the Media, man. If you like that clip, make sure you hit that subscribe, hit that like. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on nothing. Let's go.